Hey guys, what is up? It is no help and welcome back to another video today. So today I just want to go ahead and cover the new update that they've made today, adding a new skill sailing. Um, very interesting how they're going to go about this. I just want to cover it all with you guys and see what happens. This doesn't mean for sure that sailing is going to be coming into the game. It did win the first vote. So this is how they're going to be planning on showing us everything and how it's all going to work pretty much. So we have all the dates here on when they're going to be releasing stuff for us to look at so as you can see the refinement blog 2 um, then the core gameplay system loops and all that the navigation so we're going to be able to see all of this uh, very soon but I understand that there is a nice survey that we can kind of go over so I'm going to try and fill out this survey and see so let's just take a quick look at it and see so um, how did you vote on the new skill um, if you didn't vote please select the option um, yeah, so I did want to see a new skill into the game. Yes, I did. So what's your total level? Yes, I'm maxed. Do you actively play an Iron Man account? Yes, I do. How many hours a week do you play approximately? Hmm. I definitely would say over 20 hours. Okay, so tell us what kinds of activities are your favorite favorite currently in the game. So PVMer, Skiller, Raider, Completionist, or Pet Hunter. Uh, bank stander I guess and uh, was sailing your favorite choice on the skill pole pitches for me personally sailing was my favorite shamanism would definitely be my second favorite and then the pet one I didn't like at all okay so let's go to the next thing here so the core system and gameplay loops uh, how much time okay so uh, how much time would you want to be spending on a boat at sea versus exploring islands uh, multiple training methods are incredibly important and we're asking for early feedback on these kinds of training methods so we could implement them there's no shortage of ideas out there okay so which existing ways of training the skill would you most prefer so one main type of training method but with various or with variations example slayer I do think that's pretty cool. I like it. I'm not going to strongly like that. Um, variation of so different, unique things like Hunter. Hmm. Now that's a weird thing because I like how it's the same with Slayer, but I also like how it's the same with Hunter. I'm just going to like both of them, to be honest with you. Uh, rate your interest in the following low intensity, low intensity tasks. So the courier missions between ports, I actually really liked this idea. So I'm going to strongly like that. Um, so fishing expeditions at sea, I actually really like that too. Slayer tasks on islands, really like that. And exploring and charting, okay, hmm, I'll just like that one. I do really like pretty much all the things about sailing. I know a lot of people don't agree with that, but, uh, rate your interest in the high intensity tasks with sailing. So group activities, being an Iron Man, I'm I'm not gonna have a preference on this. Discovering a, and conquering new islands, I really like that. Defeating bosses, I definitely like that. And navigating challenging sea terrain, no preference. I mean, that just sounds like questing to me or something just annoying, like an agility obstacle. Uh, how much sailing would you, or how much of sailing should be focused on other skills? So I do like the fact that uh, sailing will have tons to do with other skills. Um, yeah, so all of it should be focused on other skills. Most of it should be focused on other skills. Some should be focused on other skills. I'm just going to say some should be focused on other skills. Now, optional, in fewer than 750 characters, please let us know some examples of activities you'd like, want to, at sailing. Now, I could probably make this list a lot longer. I just put some Slayer tasks, new islands, towns, achievement diaries and quests, new monsters and new items. Uh, what intensity level do you prefer for the core, the core gameplay of sailing? So low intensity, courier, fishing, Slayer, high intensity. I'm going to say a mix of low and high because there's some things that like I definitely want to discover new islands and defeat bosses, but I also just want to be a courier and fish and do Slayer as well. And fewer than 750 characters, please provide any additional. I don't think I'm going to provide any additional. We're just going to skip that one. So navigational mechanics. How important is it for you to be able to walk around your ship? I honestly think this is really cool if you can walk around the ship. So I'm going to say it's important walking over to the wheel to steer the ship moving up the sails and down yeah it's important 
uh, which navigational system do you prefer for your ship in the sailing skill? Hmm, so WASD would not really work on mobile. So it would have to be point and click, right? Or interface driven. I don't really like that either. I'm going to say, I'm going to have to say point and click because if it's an interface that would take up the whole screen and it would just be really annoying, kind of like a lot of the quests, WASD wouldn't really work on mobile. Um, maybe it could, I don't know. I'm just going to say point and click because that's how RuneScape is. So rate the following things in relation uh, to their importance. Okay. A navigational system that is not entirely dependent on an interface. I think that's important. Um, feels good on both. Yes, that's very important because there's a lot of people that play mobile, actually. Being able to see other players. I think this is actually really important as well. Being able to see slash explore existing areas. That's extremely important, obviously. It'd be weird if you just like went out to sea and then you don't see like Verrock or any of the other places. That would be really weird. Being able to see and explore brand new areas, that's very important as well. I'm not going to do any of this stuff, but uh, we'll just skip this for now. I don't want to make this video 100 or 2 hours. Okay, so rate the following statements in a line in line with the amount of content that you would like to expect. Entire sea must be filled with content. Uh, which would be improved upon through the launch. Yep. Um, I don't think the whole scene needs to be filled, right? But I mean, most of it should. So I'm going to say it's important. Specific sections of the sea should release with loads of density blanks. And yeah, I think, yeah, I think there needs to be like room for future expansions, obviously, right? We, we don't want it all at once and it's just too much. And maybe it's done not as well as it could be with multiple years of development um how do you feel about the following statements to the scope of sailing on release so yes i would be happy with new islands um bosses on the islands yes i would love a dedicated guild i had i made a video where i talked about where we need more guilds starter quest i would expect this to be honest this is on release though so i'm gonna say i wouldn't mind if this was post launch right New items, definitely. New training methods, definitely. Um, a mini game that could be interesting, but maybe not on launch. Ship upgrades, obviously. Um, I would expect this as a minimum. Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah, honestly, yeah. I think we're good now. Reward space. So rewards and sailing will be designed, blah, blah, blah. We're going to skip all this. What types of activities would you like to see on the new islands? So obviously skilling activities, combat, exploration, discovery, bossing, mini games, questing and lore, everything. Okay. Would you like to see bosses on the new islands as part of the sailing skill? Yes. Write the following ideas for, sail the, for sailing rewards in relation to their importance. So cosmetic. I don't really think cosmetic needs to be. I mean... No, it's no. Meta progression, improving your ship. Yes, extremely important. Bosses on islands. Yes. Functional worn items. Would this be like a skilling outfit? I guess that's important. Ship items and upgrades. That's extremely important. New resources, loots from islands. That's extremely important. Uh, new ways to access existing resources. So this would be like what? U-trees on another island. I guess that's kind of important. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. So this is lore, like questing and stuff like that. So we know that you want sailing um, into the game world. How should this happen? I want crossover training methods. Example, train fishing and sailing together. Yeah, that's obviously really important. I want access to existing training methods. Farming patch, fishing spots. Yeah, we want that, right? I want access to new training methods, uh, new resources. Yeah, like a cherry tree. That'd be really cool, man. More woodcutting content, even though we're going to get a woodcutting update very soon. It's likely, it's very likely that we'll use ports in some way with sailing. How much integration? I hated ports. Oh, unless this is just talking about like the docks. Well, I mean, if it's going to be the, I was thinking player owned ports. Yeah, we use the ports for sure. Why wouldn't you? And that is it. Okay. 
Now, personally, I really do like the idea of sailing on the game. I know not everyone was totally for sailing, and it only won by like 1%. Maybe it was even less than the 1% that it won by. But I do honestly think that sailing is going to be a great addition to the game. I truly don't think it will fully pass another 70-30 vote, but we'll have to see. Hopefully they can impress us with what they have planned for it. And I'm honestly really excited to just keep up with all of the updates and stuff. But uh, I'm really glad that I took part in that survey, and I hope a lot of other people do as well. If you want to take part in it, just go to the website and click the link like I did, and you can take part in the survey to express your opinions. If you have any ideas for sailing, if you hate the skill, you can let them know that as well. So honestly, yeah, I would recommend filling out the survey. Well, thank you guys so much for watching the video today, and uh, yeah, I will catch you in the next one. See ya later. Thank you.